A while ago, I made a little tiny bit of a test video, it was only like 9 seconds or something like that, for a viscosity, um, a viscosity test, and if you don't know what viscosity is, it's pretty much how thick or how thin something is. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to change uh, the viscosity settings and make things a bit more thick. Uh, in the fluid section of Blender. So we're going to get started today. Right now I have a, a fluid simulation baking in which the uh, the fluids are very, very thick. Um, as you can see, we have a very, very, very thick kind of um, a fluid going on here, which is really nice. It looks kind of like taffy or um, some kind of really, you know, thick, 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 thick fluid. That's what it looks like. Um, so the way we can go ahead and, and, and modify and kind of change this instead of being like regular, you know, water type, um, fluid what we can do here is as you can see we have all of these settings over here on the right hand side and if I stop this bake since it's gone on long enough if I stop this bake and you can see we have this um, this fluid coming out here these are that's defined by all of these settings um, in the fluid world section so this is usually downsized so inside the fluid world section we have all of these different uh, these different settings primarily we have the viscosity presets section um, and if we change this from honey to water, you can be able to see that we have uh, different settings than we just had before. So, um, with uh, the preset that I've made, um, this is the thick, the thick material that I've made here. The base is six, the exponent is one. Um, now, if you were to just do that and not do anything else, if I were to change all of these settings back to their defaults and go ahead and um, and bake this, you should be able to see that we have a more a more liquid-esque type of fluid. Um, now, what I want to do here is the only the the thing that doesn't the thing that makes the most difference is uh, is actually all of these. You have to change all of these settings to get something a bit more different um, in a thickness. So, if I were to go ahead and um, and take a look at the, at what we've done here, you can see that we have a, a very water-like quality now. This is very water-like. If I were to turn the resolution size up, you can be able to see that it's exactly like uh, water. Um, so this has baked just a few seconds. You can see already that we have um, a water-like quality just from changing all these settings back to the water defaults. But if I change the base up to six, the exponent down to one, the real-world size meters to 0.2, the compression to point. If I change the compression to 0.1. Actually, we'll do yeah, we'll do point. Eh, We'll do. Let's. We'll, we'll start off with point. We'll, we'll start off with point zero five, which is half. Um, and, uh, and if I go ahead and I bake this, I'm going to turn the resolution down way, way, way down. You should be, still be able to see the difference, though. Um, so we'll go ahead. And we'll bake that really quickly. So it'll, it'll bake pretty quickly. You should be able to see that we have a thick fluid. We have a very, very thick fluid. Um, now it could be it could be more thick as you can see we do have a little bit of that edge spilling out there like uh, it's kind of like melted ice cream instead of like the thick material that we had when we started the video. So what we can do to fix that is we can go ahead and turn this compressibility and we can turn this up and down. If I turn this to point uh, zero zero one, you should be able to see this. This might take a, a while to uh, to bake here. It'll take actually quite a long time, uh, especially for this low uh, resolution. You should be able to see that we have um, a thicker a thicker fluid here once we get down to um, to where it impacts. You can see now that we have a much thicker fluid from turning that compressibility up there. We have a very, very thick kind of goo, like um, like I said, taffy or something else in that, uh, in that kind of family. If we turn the compressibility all the way up, you should be able to see that if I bake this once again, it'll take a shorter amount of time, much shorter amount of time as you can see. Um, but it will be more liquid-like. You can see it still has a bit of, a bit of weight to it right but uh it, it kind of loses that stiffness down at the bottom it kind of it kind of spreads out a little bit more like it's melted like it's like something that's melting um kind of like an ice cream cone that smacked and hit the ground you know what i mean um so instead of it being more th it, thick it's kind of like an ice cream cone that hit, it, hit the ground on a hot day so uh what we can do here is turn the compressibility all the way down or almost all the way down you, if you can go all the way down you have the time to render that i do recommend going all the way down with the compressibility as you can tell if i slide this grid levels up and down here uh, look at the megabytes up here at the top with the bake. You can see we have five megabytes it'll take to uh, of memory to take to bake this at negative one. But if we go all the way up to negative four, it turns it instantly up to 32 megabytes, and my resolution is only on 40, which is insane. So like I said, I I recommend keeping this this grid levels uh, pretty low at negative one. 
Um, so if I go ahead and and make this, you can see that it is much uh, a much higher quality, a little bit. It is a higher quality, especially up at the top here. Uh, we can see a bit of differences. Uh, if we go ahead and stop at this bake, you can see that we have a little bit of jittering up at the top there. And uh, the reason for this is because it, we're, at, we're at a really low resolution. So we'll see a little bit of jittering. Um, you can see it has a little bit of weird waving going on up there. Um, but that is because we need to turn that resolution up. But once we do that, it should be 100% fine. Uh, I'm going to actually turn this up to 128 for the resolution and for the preview here. Um, and I actually have the speed down at uh, 0.8 really quickly. I have, I have the speed down at 8, uh, 0.8 because uh, for thicker fluids, it, it looks better to go a little bit more slow. Um, I'm going to turn the in frame to 3 instead of 4. Uh, this goes by seconds, so it doesn't go by frames. Uh, so the third second is where it'll stop, so it'll stop on frame 72. So we'll go ahead and, and put that on 70. I'm going to open up the fluid boundary and turn the amount to 0. Um, for the slip type, I will leave that on, I will put that on no slip um, instead of just moving that down. Um, and the smoothing and the subdivisions, you might want to use this just a little bit. So I might put that on. 1.1 uh, for the smoothing and the subdivisions on one. It will help out a little bit um, with the uh, the smoothing of the actual simulation because, like I said, if you don't want to go all the way up with the really high resolution, which 128 is not enough, by the way. Um, it's just uh, for this test really quickly. Um, you might want to go ahead and, 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 and turn that smoothing up just a little bit. But try and keep in mind that you don't want to do this too much because you actually lose a bit of detail. Like the little tiny nooks and crannies of the... Uh, of the um, the fluid. The compressibility should be set somewhere around 0 0.01 um, because if it's not then you'll get a really really high bake time here. Um, so I'll go ahead and we will bake this one more time and you can see that we have a little bit of stuff going on here now um, and that is pretty that's pretty much it for the viscosity all these settings right here is, is pretty much what I used for that test. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I hope this viscosity was interesting. I hope you learned something new today. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye.